Hi everyone, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today's video is going to be a what's in my travel skincare bag. So I've recently been on holiday as you might as well know and I took quite a bit of stuff with me. Um, I was trying out a lot of products and this is my bag. Um, it's the same bag that I used in my last skincare, what's in my travel skincare bag. Um, but yes, um, I didn't really want to change it up because I've already got a bag and I didn't really want to change it. Um, so as you can see, it's full to the brim. So I'm going to go through this now with you. So this is going to be in random order just because it, that's the way it was packed. So I'm going to go through this first. It's an Umberto Giannati Curl Friends Bouncy Curls Curl Enhancing Conditioner. Um, this is for curly hair as you can see I've got curly hair and um, I wanted to try something that wasn't um, that wasn't like a deep treatment because I've got quite a lot of deep treatments and um, I wanted a normal conditioner which I haven't used before and I've never used this brand before um, it's for all curl types which is really good it says soothe smoothing detangling conditioner to defrizz and tame for silky soft bouncy curls so i use this when i'm in the shower when i wash my hair um and i like the top on it i like it it's very 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 classy um sort of screw it and then there it is it's a nice nice sort of baby pink sort of look on it so it's really nice i really like that and then the next hair product thing is the Lee Stafford Original um, Dry Shampoo for Oily Roots. Um, I usually use the Baptiste, Baptiste one all the time and there are so many different dry shampoos on the market and I don't really try any because I just stick to the Baptiste one because I know that works. But I wanted to try out different products because that's, that's what a beauty person does, you know, they try different products. Um, so I've got this one. Um, it's, I haven't actually used this yet, but I want to, I will be very soon using it. Um, but yeah, it's, I don't know if it's white coloured or is it clear coloured, I will let you know. I might do a review on this, I'm not totally sure yet. Um, but yeah, that's that one. <coughs> and then I've got the Lush Tea Tree Water. This is in my skincare routine. I use this after I wash my face, but before moisturiser. It is toner water and um, <coughs> all I do is I spritz this onto a cotton ball pad or cotton ball ball four times and then I use it all over my face. I use that morning and night um, so yes I really like this. And then I've got the Boot Smooth Care Shave Gel. I wanted something cheap because I've been trying the Gillette ones for a good couple of years and I thought let's try something cheaper and to be honest it does exactly the same job but for half the price so I don't know why I was buying the Gillette ones um, because this is just as good it does the same job you know it's, it helps to shave the legs or shave wherever so yes yeah, that's that one and then I'm trying out two different skincare products because you know I like trying out my skincare and letting you know what I think of them and the first one is a Clearasol Ultra Blemish and marks wash and mask um, quite a muscle that is as you can see I've nearly used it up so I need to go and get another one but this I use morning and night depending if I'm going to clean or if I'm going to scrub or not um, but yeah it's basically a white you see I don't know if you actually see it now probably not there we go um, it's basically a mask sort of consistency where you sort of put all over your face sort of massage in and then you wash it off because it's a mask type consistency it's really really hard to get off the face so I'm always struggling to get it off my face um, and I'm always left with like green marks from my face where obviously it's still there so I just use a flannel to wipe off any excess um, so yes I've been using this at the moment I've been using this for about a month now and I'm not keen on it just, just because it's given me more spots, more blemishes and not really helping my skin at the moment. I'd probably say it does help with the marks but not to a certain extent, you know, I'd rather have something to get rid of the spots and then I can just get rid of the marks at another time. Um, but yeah, that's not really doing its job. And then it's from the same sort of range. I think it's yeah, sort of the same range. Um, it's a Clear Assault Ultra Rapid Action Scrub. Um, 
it's just a normal beady scrub really um haven't really seen it's done anything i don't think with scrubs you really do because it's you know one of those things but for me this is all right um nearly at the end of it um, i think i've got about one more use out of this so yeah that's that one and then i've got deodorant in sure visible invisible pure for your yeah, hour protection just normal deodorant i wanted something that was small um i could have got a travel size one really to save the effort but i didn't um so i got that one and then i've got a clay mask um little clay mask charcoal mask it's a sanctuary five minute thermal detox mask I actually forgot to use this when I washed my hair because I use this when I wash my hair just because it's easier to rinse off and it's just better and easier but I completely forgot to use this so I haven't, haven't actually used it for a week which I bet my skin is going to hate me for so yes that is the it is like the warming one where you sort of rub into your skin it sort of warms up and it really does warm up not like so to a certain extent where it's going to burn you um, it just feels nice and warm so that's that one and then I've got the visibly clear spot stress control through one daily cleansing lotion I use this now instead of my super drug tea tree um, cleanser just because I wanted to try something different and I quite like this as you can see it is like a bluey greeny um, liquid I use this to take off my makeup and it does a brilliant job um, and that's obviously before I cleanse anyway so I do like three steps so I sort of take my makeup off with this one then cleanse my face and moisturize etc etc um, but I really like this one um, yeah I haven't really said it's done anything to my skin and like spot blemish wise but it does a great job in taking my makeup off so that's great and then I've got a DIO body mist and it's an impulse be surprised one this is the violets and red fruits one I love this one um I don't think, think this is actually my best one it smells so nice um and then I've got the cyan hand gel because you never need because you never know we might need some hand sanitizer so got that one and then I've got the Vaseline petroleum jelly thing lip care thing um as you can see mine has nearly 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 run out so yes yeah, that one the last thing in here is a shaver obviously to shave my legs and stuff so yes yeah, that's all i really took on holiday it's not a huge amount of stuff and i think i'm going to get a bigger bag next time i go on a holiday just because some of this stuff i had to sort of pack into my normal luggage or my normal yeah yeah my normal luggage because it didn't fit in this bag so i'm planning to get a different bag at some point um yes yeah, so it's not a huge amount like everybody else would do um obviously i was actually going away in england so i could take as much stuff as i want but obviously in europe and when you travel abroad then there are restrictions so yes that's why i sort of brought anything so yes that is my what's in my travel skincare bag i hope you enjoy this video please comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys soon